Well, uh, during my presentation, I uh, presented some off-label use of, of medications, and one of them being uh, uh, Primalast or Tesla for the use in patients with uh, lichen planus. And I started out with oral lichen planus, a case series of patients improving um, on the use of a Primalast. And also, I went on into cutaneous lichen planus with complete clearance within six months. Moved on to bullet spinfigoid, clearance of a Primalast, and also a Dalimumab. And lastly, I did a case of discoid lupus and also systemic lupus being treated with a Primalast. So, you know, oftentimes those cases when you're dealing with lichen planus, for example, or lupus, yeah, there is not a specific treatment option and we, we run different medications and most patients have a lot of side effects and they do not respond. So for challenging cases of either lichen planus, cutaneous or oral, bullospinfigoid or lupus, you can think about being off-label, you can think about out of the box and uh, going with TNF inhibitors that may work very well or with a Primalast that is all of those medications are used for psoriasis but they come with much less side effects and they work as anti-inflammatory in those conditions that the patient does have a lot of inflammation so it might be helpful. One of the patients that I want to mention to you, she was a 73 year old lady with uh, mouth ulcers and uh, couldn't eat you know, any spicy foods would trigger the condition and had a biopsy proven oral lichen planus. And she had tried multiple medications. I put her on different topicals and then oral methotrexate, Plaquenil, um, mycophenolate, Mofetil, and she would respond temporarily and go back into flares. So that's, that was one of my most challenging cases of oral lichen planus that we finally controlled with, uh, with uh, Otesla and she's doing well with occasional flares that we deal with a little bit of prednisone here and there, but it has been the best medication so far that she's been on.